Good morning and welcome to the Rancho Los Alamitos Cottonwood Award. And we're so excited that you've taken the time to join us today. Historically, in the past, we've gotten together, had great barbecue, great cornbread, sat on the lawn, had baked in the sunshine, but this year we're bringing it to you virtually. And next year, we look forward to having you all back. But for this year, we have some great honorees, Bonnie Lowenthal and John Hancock, longtime supporters of the Rancho and longtime supporters of Long Beach. Please join me as we go forward in congratulating them. But first, let's take a look at this video of the Rancho that we all know and love. We'd like to recognize the Don Temple Family Foundation for their platinum level support of the Rancho. It made today possible and many other things possible at the Rancho. In addition, we have many other sponsors and we'd like to also recognize them today. Thanks to each of them for their support. Hello, I'm Frank Colonna, President of Long Beach Board of Harbor Commissioners. The Port of Long Beach is proud to once again sponsor the annual Cottonwood Awards, as well as other preservation, educational, and environmental programs at Rancho Los Alamitos. It's a privilege to join in congratulating you, the honorees today, Long Beach Harbor Commissioner Bonnie Lowenthal and former Long Beach Harbor Commissioner John Hancock. These two fellow commissioners are also my friends, and I can assure you that they are very deserving of these Cottonwood Awards. We thank the Rancho for its many contributions throughout the city, but especially for the preservation of the historic Rancho itself. Through our community sponsorship program, we are proud to support your important events. Both the Port of Long Beach and Rancho recognize the importance of sustainability. We are the Greenport, committed to protecting the land and harbor just as the Rancho is dedicated to safeguarding its history. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of your virtual Cottonwood Awards luncheon. I am Mario Cordero, Executive Director of the Port of Long Beach. Thank you for the opportunity to be with all of you at this virtual event. The Port of Long Beach joins Rancho Los Alamitos in celebrating Commissioner Bonnie Lowenthal and Commissioner John Hancock. Both have worked successfully to bring the Port of Long Beach closer together with the Long Beach community to forge a lasting and mutually beneficial relationship. The Port of Long Beach is what it is today, a true community partner and an important economic engine thanks to the leadership of these honorees. We are proud to sponsor this event. Both the Port and Rancho are extremely community-minded and focused on informing and engaging our neighbors. Again, congratulations. Welcome to Rancho Los Alamitos, a magical oasis where we come to celebrate our past and hear the stories of the amazing people, generation after generation, that have forged and continue to build this extraordinary city we call Long Beach. Good afternoon and welcome to Rancho Los Alamitos and to our virtual Cottonwood Awards ceremony. As most of you know, we would ordinarily be doing this uh, in our large uh, expansive uh, grass uh, next to our administration center and uh, we would have uh, between 400 people and more who might attend uh, with a barbecue and uh, we like to say short speeches and great barbecue. Because of all the changes going on in the world and COVID and so forth we're uh, not doing the in-person event but we're very pleased to bring the event to you uh, again today. It's my honor on behalf of the Rancho Board of Directors, our Chairman Jeff Green, uh, our staff, volunteers, and many friends of the Rancho to announce that we're honoring Bonnie Lowenthal today uh, with our ninth annual Cottonwood Award. Bonnie has been a tremendous supporter of the Rancho and of all things that relate to historic preservation. We are so proud to honor her. Bonnie, as you know, has done pretty much everything in the community to support Long Beach. She has a master's degree in community clinical psychology. She's been a therapist. She works in the mental health field. She's worked with nonprofit organizations. She was on the school board, of course, for many years, transitioned to the city council, where I actually had a chance to work with her, went on from there to the state legislature, and now in her spare time is uh, come back to Long Beach to serve on the Board of Harbor Commissioners. 
So uh, congratulations, Bonnie. I, I think you deserve uh, 10 of these types of awards, if not more. You've done more than any other person that I know to support the community in so many meaningful ways. Always ready to help. Always says yes. If you need it, she'll give her your phone number. Congratulations, Bonnie, and thanks for serving as our Cottonwood recipient. Bonnie and I have had the privilege over many years of working on a variety of projects. And as everyone knows, when Bonnie takes on a project, she always sees it through with a lot of determination, a lot of enthusiasm, and a lot of heart. Bonnie has uh, broken barriers and been a, a friend and a mentor and uh, now, of course, serves on our Harbor Commission. Uh, and um, she is, I think, someone that exemplifies uh, service and always wanting to give back to, to the state and to our community. Bonnie paved the road for a lot of us. Um, she's authentic and true to herself, and she speaks from her heart with compassion and authenticity. And with that, I think she has paved the way for um, all of us to be able to do the same, to chart our own course, just like she did. Um, and she's just a, a very kind human being. Um, even if you disagree with her or she disagrees with you, um, she is graceful and very thoughtful about her interactions with people. And that's what we want, all of us as leaders, what we aspire to be, and that's what we want in our, in our leaders. And, and I'm just thrilled that she's being honored. Thank you so much. I am very honored to be receiving this award at the Rancho. Uh, the Rancho has meant so much to me, to my family, and to the children of Long Beach and surrounding communities because the education programs have provided a real sense of place and understanding of where we came from and why the history is so important. So for that and many other reasons, I really appreciate receiving the award today. Thank you. At the Rancho, for 50 years, we have been welcoming third and fourth graders from all over the region to help them discover their connection to our rich past. From learning from Tonga cultural educators to seeing farm animals, often for the first time in their lives, this is an experience that brings history to life and connects them to their roots. You know, sometimes we open up history books, at least in our class, and we learn about things that seem very far away. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, all those wonderful things, but we then realize there's a whole lot of history here, not too far from us. And they begin to con make the, you know, connect the dots between what happened yesterday and what's happening today. I strongly, strongly recommend for all teachers to bring their students here, albeit through virtual experience or um, coming actually to the rancho, because it's such an enriching and engaging place for students to learn about California history and our past from how our native, um, the Tongva people, how the land originally belonged to them, to how it transpired to ranchos, to now it's a living museum. And to have all of that enriching experience and stories would be very important for all students to experience. We get letters from some of the students and they say how they enjoy, primarily when they see the animals, that's really something for them because many of these students haven't been around farms at all and they don't know anything about animals really. So we introduce them to the different types of animals that would have been here, all the different livestock um, that's unique for them. I think it's important that people learn the history of the community that they live in, that children need to know that. They need to understand that people made things and did things by hand that we take for granted that there was a whole society that operated before there were cell phones and that kind of thing. And I think so many children don't have a place where they can get out into nature. And this is such a beautiful nature preserve, recognizing as it does the history of it, but also just a place of beauty where they can feel free to move around and enjoy things. The free programs that we provide, I think are essential for these students. It's, it's, as I said, it supplements their um, social studies curriculum and uh, California history is primarily what the fourth graders are learning about and they're learning rancho history. They're not going to get that experience anywhere else except for here. There aren't very many ranchos where you can actually come on site or be able to see virtually the site. So it's, it's pretty wonderful for them.
These free educational programs are only possible thanks to the support and contributions of so many in our community. Every year, over 4,000 children visit the Rancho, and even during the pandemic, we reach them with our new virtual tours. These new virtual tours have been a great success and are helping us reach an even broader audience. As we move forward, the Rancho will be offering both on-site and virtual tours so we can reach children throughout our country. And as our second honoree always reminds us, the Rancho is a place for everyone. Our second recognition goes to John Hancock. John is a long-term Long Beach resident, businessman, investor. John's been very involved in a number of civic organizations, including Rancho Los Alamitos Foundation. In fact, John served on the board for 24 years, nearly 25 years, which is perhaps a record among all of our current board members, certainly. John also has a tremendous sense of community and community giving, has done so much to help so many nonprofit organizations. The Rancho has been of benefit uh, from his uh, generosity and we sure appreciate it. So John, I just wanted to say uh, congratulations. This has been uh, maybe a long time in coming. We appreciate your service on the board. You were always a tremendous positive force on the board and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks, John. You know, John, I, I, I've known since I just first uh, got involved in the city and has been obviously just a force within the business community, within civic life, um, and has always been really well respected. I've known him most of my life and found many reasons to admire John, but one of them is his, his willingness to stick with things. He has been instrumental in helping a number of community organizations thrive within Long Beach. It's just the breadth of his involvement, and people looked out and saw this is a person who's capable. And I think that the people in Los Alamitos were smart enough to say, let's ask John Hancock to, to serve. And he did, and served him well for some 20 plus years. He's a major advocate for the ranchos and has done a lot to try to preserve and, and show progress for the ranchos. Um, but beyond that, he's incredibly involved in, in so many other av avenues in the city that make the city better from a cultural standpoint, from an art standpoint, um, from a preservation standpoint. He's Long Beach through and through, and um, he lives and breathes the city. And when I think about kind of the Long Beach OGs of my generation, the people that have were here in the beginning and have a lot to say about this city, uh, I think about John Hancock. It's good to be out here today. It's been a year, year and a half since I've been here last. And it's an honor to be recognized and receive a little award for the Cottonwood. It's a great event that the Rancho has put on. It's had very good support over a lot of years from the trustees here, from people in the city of Long Beach. So I think I'm pleased to have a recognition of this as well. Every year, Rancho Los Alamitos welcomes thousands of visitors. This year, we encourage you to visit us, stroll through our beautiful gardens, check out our barnyard animals, and spark your curiosity as you delve into the stories of all the people who have touched and changed this land we now call home. And if you can, please make a donation to keep all these wonderful programs enriching our community. The Rancho is an asset, a community asset for all of us. And in order for us to continue to keep this asset alive for years to come, for the next generation and the generations that follow to enjoy, we need to, as a community, be vested in the success and the strength of this facility. The Conwood Awards are actually one of the best events of the year. It's actually such a fun event. Um, you know, it's virtual now and we're not able to all gather like you normally would, but I know that once we come back, uh, it's going to be just packed again, just full of so many friends and uh, so many folks. Um, it's a great opportunity for people to give. Uh, the, the Rancho, of course, um, provides so many important programs. Uh, there's been so much investment that's happened. And we want to continue that through the city, but also make sure that people give to the Rancho and contribute uh, to really supporting also the educational programs that happen. The Rancho uh, has a very strong educational mission. That's one of our core uh, businesses, if you will, and uh, we rely upon uh, the support of uh, the community to help make those uh, programs possible. So to the extent that you can offer any kind of a contribution, we receive them from $10 to $10,000. Uh, they would be greatly appreciated and well used. Uh, we appreciate your interest. 
and thank you again for supporting uh, Rancho Los Alamitos. What a great recap honoring Bonnie and John. And we're so fortunate. We've all had the privilege of working with them over the years on a variety of different subjects. And Rancho is also so fortunate that both of them have dedicated their time to helping to keep the Rancho alive and moving forward. At this time, at your lunch table, if you would grab your beverage of choice, yeah, whether it's your, your water or as Shirley Wilde says, those of you who have perfected Zoom meetings, your coffee cup filled with wine that you blow on to make everyone think it's your coffee. Let's toast Bonnie and John. Congratulations. We really appreciate all that you do for us and look at the chat coming through, which only continues to solidify that we love and respect both of you. So here's the shopping list. For only $2,000, you can allow a school's entire grade level to attend the Rancho. Also, for only $1,000, you can help to maintain those beautiful gardens that were designed by Olmsted, who designed New York Central Park. $500 can allow an entire class of either third or fourth graders, which have been going to the Rancho for 50 years, to enjoy the Rancho. For those of you who would like to provide $250, you can help to provide for the horses, the dental cleaning, the new shoes, so that the horses have a great quality of life and all who visit the Rancho can enjoy these beautiful creatures. Also for $100, you can provide the Rancho the opportunity to buy craft supplies for the free family programs so that all can enjoy the essence of the Rancho. Also for $50, you can allow the Rancho to buy feed for the animals for the entire day. Thank you for your generosity. If, if it wasn't for supporters like you, there is no way that the Rancho could do what it does in serving its educational mission and also in preserving the Rancho itself. We so appreciate what the staff does, what the board does in keeping this wonderful institution alive within our city, but also within the region. With this weekend coming up and it being a special weekend at Memorial, we also appreciate you taking time off on your Thursday before we head into this great three-day weekend celebrating our nation. At this time, have a great weekend, but also thank you again for your support of the Rancho. It means so much to everyone here. Enjoy.